Bangers, bangers, bangers. The month of June for the Nintendo Switch is, well, full of absolute bangers for the system. We're talking first party Nintendo games. We're talking third party games, compilations, retro games remastered. There's so much stuff happening in the month of June when it comes to games we already know about that I had to trim the fat with this video. All of these games, except for maybe one, and you'll see why, are games that I'm going to definitely have to check out because they're awesome games. So what is coming to the Nintendo Switch in the month of June? That's what we're going to talk about in this video. What's going on guys, I'm RGT85, if this is your first time on the channel, welcome! Be sure to hit that subscribe button, and be sure to like and share the video, but without any further ado, let's talk about the month of June for the Nintendo Switch, and take a look at all these games coming out for the system. We kick things off on June 4th with DC Superhero Girls Teen Power. Now, yes, out of all the games on this list, this is the one game that I have absolutely no interest in, but I do understand that there are people that watch my channel that have kids and stuff like that, so maybe your kid will be interested in this game. I do like DC-related stuff. I'm a big Batman fan from the 89 Tim Burton style of Batman, and even the Val Kilmer one wasn't all that bad. Of course, Adam West was great, too. I don't really like Christian Bale. Batman. Like, yeah, that's kind of stupid. But but DC Superhero Girls Teen Power is obviously based on a very popular cartoon series and it's trying to get, you know, younger girls or boys who like bright colors and things like that into the DC universe. And, you know, if you got a kid, it might be a fun game to play. Maybe when it's super cheap, I'll check it out. But, yeah, you know, just really no interest from me, but it is a game that I think parents will want to be aware of. So DC Superhero Girls Teen Power comes out on the Switch on June 4th. Next up, we have a collection of games that I'm really looking forward to, and that is the Ninja Gaiden Master Collection, coming out on June 10th to your Nintendo Switch. Now, this consists of three games within the Ninja Gaiden series. There's Ninja Gaiden Sigma, Ninja Gaiden Sigma 2, and Ninja Gaiden 3 Razor's Edge. Now, Ninja Gaiden and Ninja Gaiden 2 were actually games that originally released on the Xbox. They were brought over with the Sigma branding, and some things were changed over to the PlayStation 3. And, you know, some people didn't like the changes that were done in this game. To me, personally, I'm not super hardcore into these games i did play them originally on the xbox first two games and then ninja gaiden 3 razor's edge which was hard as hell on the wii u but i definitely love ninja gaiden stuff i love compilations like this and to see these games in hd on the nintendo switch is definitely a big win in my opinion you're getting three games it's like 40 dollars for the games so even if there is content that's cut like it's still a really good value because these games are still beautiful to look at and they're super fun to play very challenging of course because they are ninja gaiden games but still this is a compilation that i'm really looking forward to i'm hopeful that i'll be able to view this compilation for you guys as well to see sort of the differences and see what how the game looks and performs on the Nintendo Switch but the Ninja Gaiden Master Collection comes out on the Nintendo Switch on June 10th and I can't wait for it all right, before we get into the next game on the list, I do want to give a huge thank you to the sponsor of this video Surfshark VPN what is Surfshark VPN I'm glad you asked I've said it before and I'll say it again, RGT wants you to be protected when you're surfing the internet. And Surfshark VPN was kind enough to sponsor today's video and they will give you that protection. Surfshark VPN is a fast and easy to use VPN service that you can use on a variety of devices. I have it on my PC right here, I simply just click a button and bam, now I'm protected online. Aside from just protecting your data online, Surfshark VPN also allows you to access things like Netflix and Hulu from other regions to get more content, plus tons more of additional features. And right now, by using the link in the description box down below in the code RGT, you can get Surfshark VPN at an 83% discount, which is the cheapest you can get it anywhere. Plus, you get three extra months for free. One membership allows you to hook up all your devices to your account, whether it's a cell phone, a desktop, a laptop, or even your Xbox or PlayStation console. So protect yourself with Surfshark VPN. Check out the link in the description box down below, and huge thank you to Surfshark VPN for sponsoring this video. On June 11th, we have the first of two first-party Nintendo games, with it being Game Garage Builder... On June 11th, we have the first of two first-party Nintendo games coming to the Switch in June with Game Garage Builder. Now, initially, I had absolutely no interest in this game. I, you know, thought it looked okay, you know, people creating their own sorts of games, sharing them with their friends online. Like, that's kind of cool, but I'm not a very creative person. I could barely assemble Labo. I always tell the story about Fighter Maker on the PlayStation 1. I thought I was going to make the greatest fighting game of all time, and I really just made a thing where a dude spun his leg around like this for a kick. 
and that was like hours of work for me so i gave up on it but obviously there are a lot of creative people and smarter people when it comes to things like this now from what i've seen from a japanese trailer for this game it actually is pretty in-depth with the amount of games that you can create i was actually very surprised you can make stuff like 3d platformers nice looking shoot 'em up games you can actually customize the graphics completely to make your own sorts of sprites so that your own sprites are in the game as well it looks a lot deeper than was first intended i think nintendo just wants to get people into this game so that they can learn how to make their own games and then grow from there but i think the tools in this game are going to be very interesting to use like i said i will not be building anything in this game myself but i will be picking it up if there's a decent online system where i could check out other people's games because for me that's going to be the real appeal of this game garage builder comes out on june 11th and you know it's a budget game and it might end up being really cool on June 24th, we have Alex Kidd in Miracle World coming to the Nintendo Switch. Now, this game originally released on the Sega Master System. If you know anything about Sega, this was Sega's first attempt at a mascot, and... Well, it kind of worked, but obviously Sonic came along and sort of trounced him. But I think Alex Kidd in Miracle World is a decent enough game, and this seems like a cool enough version of the game that people are going to be interested in it. There's going to be new levels added into the game. There's new boss fights, and you can switch from different graphical styles on the fly if you want a retro look or a more modern look. Once again, Alex Kidd in Miracle World was a good Sega Master System game, and Alex Kidd never really got his chance to shine because Sonic just kind of came along and stole all the thunder. But with Sonic kind of falling into a ditch as of late, maybe Alex Kidd could get some revenge right now. Alex Kidd in Miracle World comes out on June 24th, and if you're a retro gaming fan, you're probably already excited for this game. Want more retro gaming goodness? Well, Square Enix is bringing another game to the Nintendo Switch with Legend of Mana Remastered, also coming out on June 24th. Now, this game features redrawn HD visuals. If you know anything about the style of this game, it looks absolutely gorgeous. A newly arranged soundtrack, and something I find really cool. They give you the ability to turn off enemy encounters if you have to backtrack into an area and you don't want to deal with like low-tier enemies just getting in your way and impeding your progress. You can actually turn that off. There's some more quality of life improvements in the game that, unlike The Legend of Zelda Skyward Sword, aren't hidden behind an amiibo, such as the ability to save anywhere. Now, I never played the original Legend of Mana on the PS1, but I've heard it's a great game, so maybe I will end up checking out this HD version. The Legend of Mana Remastered comes out on the Switch on June 24th, and RPG fans are probably very excited for this. Want some more retro gaming goodness? Well, good, because on June 25th, we have yet another retro game coming to the Nintendo Switch with Cotton Reboot. Now, if you know anything about Cotton, you would know what this game is already about. If you don't know about Cotton, basically, this was the first game in the cute em up genre, which is a shoot 'em up game with very cutesy styles of graphics, but this is considered to be the pioneer of it, and honestly, one of the best in the genre. You can play in a new HD reboot mode, or you can use the original graphics in the game. Obviously, it has some cool stuff, like the original soundtrack or a fully arranged soundtrack and it's a game that also features online leaderboards as well if you want to see how you rank with the rest of the world i love stuff like this you know sort of more obscure games that were released during a time in japan when you know shoot 'em ups and cute 'em ups were just getting started and really finding their footing and to see this game come out on the nintendo switch is honestly just pretty crazy to think about cotton reboot hits the nintendo switch on june 25th and might be a game you'll want to check out if you're a shoot 'em up fan also on June 25th, we have Tony Hawk 1 and 2 Remastered coming to the Nintendo Switch. Now, I picked this up originally for my Xbox One. I got the collector's edition with the skateboard because I grew up playing Tony Hawk games. I grew up skateboarding. I still push the wood from time to time, but, you know, my body's getting a little bit older. But Tony Hawk 1 and 2 are games that, you know, I spent hundreds of hours playing. I love the games. I love the soundtrack. I love the roster of characters. You know, Kareem Campbell, Chad Muska, Bam Margera. Like, these are the skateboarders that I grew up idolizing. Jamie Tom and things like that, Andrew Reynolds, you know. And so for this to be coming out on the Nintendo Switch is just like, finally. The Xbox One version of the game was absolutely fantastic. I love the improved visuals. I love the online play. It was just a fantastic package of games, especially if you grew up playing the Tony Hawk games. It all felt very familiar, but it felt like there was some new stuff into the games as well, just because of the new visual style. Everything just feels a bit more alive and a bit more vibrant than it did on the original PlayStation 1. So I will definitely be double dipping on Tony Hawk 1 and 2 HD Remastered and the Nintendo Switch when it comes out on June 25th because you can play it in handheld mode. Like you can play Tony Hawk while you're taking a dump. Like that, that's peak life, isn't it? Also on June 25th, we have the second game coming to us from Nintendo with Mario Golf Super Rush. Now, 
I love Mario sports games. I think they're super underrated. Yes, some are better than others, like the tennis games, eh, you know, some of them just kind of hit or miss with me, but I think Mario Golf Super Rush looks absolutely fantastic, just from a myriad of standpoints, from the different types of gameplay modes that they've included in, a very interesting and varied roster of different characters that you could play as from Mario's Kingdom, and it just looks like a really fun time. It looks like a very highly polished game. There's modes that if you just want to play a more party-like setting, you could do that. If you want to try a more simulation golf style experience well as simulation as you can get within the mario universe you could do that too there's online play it looks like a very robust package and like i said i am a fan of mario sports games i hope that this game is successful so that we can get a new mario strikers or something like that because good lord that is some god tier gaming right there but mario golf super rush is definitely the biggest game of the month for the nintendo switch in the month of june and it comes out on june 25th so we've got tony hawk we've got cotton and we got mario all in the same day what a time to be alive now this next game i'm not 100 percent sure is actually coming out in june some places are saying it does come out june 29th some places are saying it's just summer so take this with a grain of salt but the sky 6 looks like it's coming out on june 29th if it doesn't come out on june 29th i am sorry just some places were saying it does now i'm not the biggest this fan in the world but i know it's very over the top there's huge hit counters in this game it's a very crazy rpg style game but the main thing about this 6 is for the first time the visuals will actually be done in hd and in 3d instead of the 2D sprite-based format that they've been using pretty much since the dawn of time of the franchise. I'm not the biggest Disgaea fan in the world, like I said. I'm not even sure if it is coming out on June 29th, but some places are listing it for that date, so I did want to mention it. Also on June 29th, we have Destroy All Humans coming to the Nintendo Switch. Now, once again, this game released on the Xbox One and PS4. I think it was about a year or so ago I played it, and I really enjoyed it. I played the original game when it came out on the original Xbox and PlayStation 2, and I just think it's very fun. If you've ever seen the movie Mars Attacks, it's kind of like Mars Attacks in a video game format, and Mars Attacks was a very fun game. You, like, probe cows, and you throw cows, you destroy cities, you terrorize humans as an alien. It's very tongue-in-cheek, but honestly, it's a a very fun game and I hope that the Nintendo Switch version of the game is good in terms of performance because I think this could be a game that a lot of Nintendo Switch owners actually really get into. If you played it on other platforms there might not be a reason to double dip but it is coming out on the Nintendo Switch on June 29th. And the final game we have to talk about for June also comes out on June 29th, and that is Zombies Ate My Neighbors slash Ghoul Patrol Double Pack. Now, this consists of the original Zombies Ate My Neighbors and its sequel, Ghoul Patrol. Now, you never really hear about Ghoul Patrol because Zombies Ate My Neighbors was definitely the more popular game. You know, when it came out, it got some decent fanfare, but as time has gone on, it's definitely become a cult classic just because of the visual style and just how well the gameplay holds up. There's tons of different levels. There's tons of different, different characters you encounter in this game, different weapons, different sorts of man management of resources and whatnot it is a very fun time and the fact that disney is actually bringing this game via the lucas arts franchise is a big deal in my opinion because it really opens the doors for more things like this we've already seen aladdin and lion king come out on the nintendo switch now we have zombies ate my neighbor slash ghoul patrol coming out on the switch so definitely some very cool stuff and if you're a retro gaming fan yes you probably would have liked these on the super nintendo online service i know i would have because there would have been better games that they're giving us at the end of may you know just god that's a terrible list but zombies ate my neighbors and ghoul patrol will be hitting your switch on june 29th well i told you i told you there was bangers on this list like you look at this list and this is just stuff we know about this is just like the bigger games not even think considering indie games or potential stealth drops during e3 so june is going to be a very busy month for me out of all these games definitely ninja gaiden tony hawk and of course mario golf super rush are the games that i'm going to pick up on day one everything else i'm definitely monitoring things like destroy all humans like i really like that game so i might end up messing around and picking that up again but let me know in the comment section down below what games you plan on picking up do you plan on getting any of these games do any of these games appeal to you if not you should probably sell your nintendo switch because i mean these are the kind of games you get on the system and as always folks thank you for checking out this video before we close i want to give a huge thank you to surfshark vpn for sponsoring this video make sure you guys check out the link in the description box down below and as always i'll catch you guys on the next one later